around the world at UFC 69, Matt Serra emphatically knocking out George St. Pierre to become the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. That is not a misprint, ladies and gentlemen, but now the question beckons. With confidence at an all-time high, how far can Matt Serra take this thing? Can he become one of the most feared welterweights of all time? We'll get some answers here beginning tonight. Matt Serra is an elite grappler with a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Henzo Gracie, but he also has big punching power and loves to stand and bang, which, as I'm sure everyone remembers, is exactly how he stopped George St. Pierre to become the welterweight champion. Do not adjust your sets, ladies and gentlemen. One of the greatest of all time is back. The current UFC middleweight champion, George St. Pierre, walked away from the sport after his 12th consecutive win. That was November of 2013. This is a guy that made the takedown in mixed martial arts an art form. Unbelievable what this man accomplished without amateur wrestling credentials. GSP, perhaps the greatest of all time, is back and seemingly better than ever. George St. Pierre is one of the top athletes in the sport. Great speed, great strength, and extremely talented. He's got world-class skills on his feet or on the ground, and he has dominated so many guys with his wrestling. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. The American is 33, the Canadian is 36. He will have an eight-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, only a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, Matt the Terror Sarah. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. The mixed martial artist holding professional record on. 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former USC welterweight champion, George Bush St. Pierre. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this Ready, one. Fight. Ready. All right, we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Well, with his confidence and self belief now off the charts, having knocked out George St. Pierre, Matt Serra is back and looking to pick up where he left off. Let's see what type of start he can get off to here tonight. You know the opposition is mindful of the power, but still nonetheless very confident that they can go. Oh, he's in trouble right now. Sarah gets up yet again here, Joe. That's the good news, but he does not look well. Three side control. Good work, guys. Come on. Beautiful right hand. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Into side control again. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Sarah gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. In half guard now. Guillotine, guillotine. He's got the guillotine locked in tight. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. He got and it, he got it. Nicely done. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop for this contest. 
at two minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke, Matt.